Estamos com a doutora Li Lin, em Nanshan, China, licenciada em Mestre em Acupuntura. Atualmente trabalha como médica de medicina tradicional chinesa num dos hospitais da Universidade de Medicina Chinesa de Guangxi. É especialista em Tai Chi Stil Shen e Qigong, estando ligada a vários projetos na área da medicina preventiva e da educação para a saúde. Hello. Hello. Dr. Dilin. Mm -hmm. uh, please tell me, what is your mission at Guangxi University? Um, I'm a doctor and also a teacher of Guangxi University of TCM. Yeah. So, according to your experience, what is the contribution of Qigong for the clinical practice results? Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, Qigong is only one of the treatments of TCM and Qigong is a little bit different from acupuncture herbal medicine is that the patients or the student can bring something back or something with them and they can do themselves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anytime anywhere and um, they have so that they can have something to do for their health yes yeah it's very important. They very, do, very important. They do something mm. for the health and not depending only on uh, of the doctor. <laughs> yes. We know you are also teaching Qigong in schools. Mm -hmm. What is the age of these children? Um, f for adults um, uh, from 20 to 25 and for kids about 8 to 12 like elementary school, middle school, and also in our university. Mm -hmm. And what is the aim of this project? Mm, to let them know more about TCM. Mm -hmm. To let mm -hmm. them know more about TCM um, and to have an experience of TCM. They can do themselves, they can feel um, in every individual, they can feel uh -huh. um, feel their chi, how the chi movement, and they can feel the blood circulation inside the body. Um, yeah, I think this is very interesting for them. And what are the different curriculums? Uh, sorry, for them, what are the different curriculums of the the, the what the time? Lessons? Yes, uh, the different what what you teach for uh, to them. Mm, I uh, usually introduce to them um, eight section exercise mm -hmm. we call Ba Duan Jing in Chinese, Jing. Yes. and five animal exercise we call Wu Qing Xi, uh -huh. designed by Hua Tuo, a very famous physician in China. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In uh, clinical practice, mm -hmm. how do you redirect patients? from consultation to Qigong practice? Um, in clinic, um, we have different different kind of cur uh, curriculum. Um, Sometimes I just select some parts of Qigong, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. parts of uh, eight section and exercise or five animal exercise, some parts of it and uh, teach them. And another kind is we set courses every weekend for them. They come to the um, clinic, to the hospital, and I will introduce the whole set. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you choose uh, Qigong exercise for each patient? You, you have answered uh -huh. this question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, um, the most important thing is that based on their body constitution, mm -hmm. And, uh, and according to um, the disease duration and also um, according to my um, diagnosis and um, syndrome different differentiation. Yeah, yeah, syndrome differentiation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are the results and the level of acceptance from the patients, the oh. Chinese patients? Chinese level for the Chinese patient. For sure. um, the requirements for them is um, to know the movement, 
to know the um, how muscle and bones um, going on mm -hmm. and um, better they need to know some thinking not only the sh for the shape also mm -hmm. for the spirit they mm -hmm. have to fall into a calm mood and to think of some meridians mm -hmm. or some acupoints for example um, take a step from the very beginning to mm -hmm. take one step to the left, the same with uh, with the shoulder. That's to say, not only the posture, the standing posture. That's to say, the um, kidney one face to the the Yongquan point face to the Jianjing point. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, the same movement, but different meanings or deep meanings mm -hmm. inside. And breathing also. Yeah, and breath, breathing yes, exercise yes. as well. Mm -hmm. During the conference, you heard about the TCM social intervention activities developed by our uh, TCM School of Lisbon. According to your experience, what is your opinion and what would you suggest for their further development? Um, I think this time uh, I real uh, i have the honor to take part in the conference follow um our uh, president of the hospital professor xie mm -hmm. and i learn a lot um i think the development is um, to if can uh, if it can set some part for qigong that will be more perfect Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, not only lecture and listening, some interaction and some out outdoor lecture like yes, mm -hmm. yeah, that will be more perfect. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and e pronto chegamos ao fim da nossa entrevista. Voltaremos com outras.